Welcome to Basic Music Theory video number two. And in this video, we are going to talk about time signatures. The time signature is located after the clef sign and after the key signature. Most of the time, you're going to see a number over a number. So it looks like a fraction, but it isn't. Occasionally, you will see a C in the time signature as opposed to numbers. All that C means is it's common time or a common time signature, which also equals 4-4. Four, four. So let's take a look at 4-4. Four, four. What does the top number tell us? All it tells us is that there are four beats in every measure. Now, it could be a combination of notes. It could be a combination of rests and notes, but totaling or the sum is going to be four beats. For example, if we have two half notes, two plus two equals four. Or in this example, we have quarter, quarter, half, which means one plus one plus two equals four. In the next example, we have a half rest, which gets two beats, and a half note, which gets two beats. Two plus two is four once again. Let's take a look at the last example, which is a little more complicated. First, we have a quarter rest, which gets the value of one beat. The quarter note gets the value of one beat as well. One plus one is two. Then we have an eighth rest, which actually gets half a beat. Then we have an eighth note, which also gets half a beat. So a half plus a half equals one. So one plus one plus one is three. After that, we have a quarter note again, which is also going to get one beat for a total of four beats. The bottom number of the time signature tells us which type of note gets one beat. So if there's a four, we know that the quarter note gets one beat. If the quarter note gets one beat, then a half note gets two beats, a whole note gets four beats, and so on and so forth. Now, occasionally on the bottom number, you will see a two or an eight. Very rarely are you gonna see a 16 or even a 32nd. That's in some more complex music. Sometimes you will see two, two, which means two beats in a measure for the top number and the half note gets one beat. So now the value of the half note has changed. Half notes now get one beat, whereas quarter notes are gonna get half a beat. This time signature is also called cut time, and you will commonly see a common time signature with a slash through it, meaning cut time, which is twice as fast. You can also think of cut time equals two two as common time equals four four. Now, if the bottom number is an eight and the top number is a six, for example, we have six eight time where there are gonna be six beats in a measure and the eighth note gets one beat. Let's take a look at these following groupings. In the first measure, we have six eighth notes for a total of six beats. In the next measure, we have a dotted quarter note, which is a total of three beats. Remember, it's six eight. So the next beat is a quarter note. Eighth notes get one beat, quarter notes get two beats. So two beats plus the following eighth note is a total of six beats. In the next example, we have a quarter rest followed by an eighth note for a total of three beats. Then we have an eighth note, eighth rest, eighth note for another total of three beats. Three plus three equals six, followed by two dotted quarter notes. Each dotted quarter note gets three beats. Once again, three plus three equals six. In the next example, let's go over the two, two or the cut time. We have two half notes. Remember, since the bottom number is a two, the half note gets one beat. So here we have two beats. The next example is four quarter notes. Remember, each quarter note is now getting half a beat. So half plus half plus half plus half equals two. Next example, we have a dotted half, which gets a beat and a half. And the quarter note now gets half a beat. So one and a half plus a half equals two. In general, fast songs like marches, a lot of Latin music like salsa is played in two or cut time because it eventually becomes easier to read, even though at first it can be quite complicated. I hope you found this video helpful. Thank you so much for watching and I will catch you in the next tutorial. Thank mm -hmm. you.